Hi, boys and girls. I want to guide you through and help you learn about fractions. So I'm going to share my screen and I want you to follow along and hopefully this will help you understand what is a fraction, what does it mean to have equal parts, and also how to divide a fraction into halves, quarters, or also known as um, fourths. So now you should be able to see my screen and I want you to actually see um, what I have here. Just follow along with me. So what are fractions? What is a fraction? A fraction is a part or a whole of something. So a part or a whole of something. I always like to think about food when I talk about this like a piece of pizza or a whole pie, a whole pizza, a whole piece of pie. There are some pictures. You can see this is something that you have eaten often and that you understand about. A fraction is also a part of a set, like a dozen cupcakes. So you can see there are 12 cupcakes. How many cupcakes are there? You can count them and you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 cupcakes. Equal parts. This is so important. To have a fraction, fraction, you must have equal parts. Equal means the same. So if you're sharing something, you want to each have the same amount, an equal amount. You don't want one person to have the biggest piece of pizza, and then you have a tiny piece of pizza. You want it to be fair and to share equal parts. Equal means the same size. Look at this picture. This is not equal parts. This is equal parts. If you shared this with five of your friends, of you and four friends, five of you in all, you would each have the same size. Think of it like a big chocolate bar. How do we read fractions? This is one half, one half, one, and then you have a line, and then the two, you say that as one half. One fourth, you have the one, the line, and the four underneath it, we say one fourth. You can also call that one quarter. Parts of a set. What fraction of the triangles are red? So look at it. You can see that there are two triangles. So one out of the two are red. And you would say the red triangles, there's one total number of triangles in all are two. And that is said one half. What fraction of the boxes are orange? You have four boxes. One is orange. So orange boxes, there is one total number of boxes and all are four. We say that as one fourth, or you can also say that as one quarter. There are four quarters in one dollar, one out of the four. Parts of a whole. What is the fraction of the colored part of each picture below? So you look at that one, you have two pieces in the circle, one is red. So that would be, and then you have the next one, you have four pieces in the circle with the purple piece, one is colored purple out of all four. So if you look at that one, you can see one out of two. So you would actually write down one over two, one half. This one has one out of four, one on top, four underneath, and we call that one fourth or one quarter. Fractions, the number shaded over the total number of parts in all. Right here, you have one shaded out of four equal pieces in all. So we say one fourth. I hope that this has helped you, and I hope that you can um, understand a little bit more about fractions. The most important thing is that every part needs to be equal. And when we look at it, you have one part over 
how many parts in all? And in first grade, we are looking at one half, one out of two, or we are looking at one fourth, or you can also say it one quarter, which is one out of four. Always think about food. How many pieces of pizza? How many pieces of a chocolate bar? Because we like to look at the circles and rectangles here in first grade. Have a great day, and I hope that that helped you.